welcome back to our channel guys if you're new here we're richie laura frankie and freddie and you join us on week 17 of our european tour this week we spend our first week in montenegro before heading to albania we hope you enjoy it so we managed to sort out a data sim not sure if it's going to work in albania or not but we have got it for 15 euros um, for 500 gigabytes, which is really, really good. It's probably the best SIM card we've ever had over the whole period of traveling. So I'll let you know once we get to Albania if it's actually gonna work in there or not. Um, yeah, now we are in Montenegro and this place looks amazing. Let me just show you. What a nice country Montenegro is. We was just driving through. I think we're only going to stay in Montenegro one night, but um, we was just driving around the coastal roads and we see this little restaurant. I think we're near Morinj at the minute, but it's just so beautiful. Plus, there's a little kids' park. We just had to stop. Cheers to our first Montenegro beer. Cheers. <laughs> having the drink in the bar yesterday we carried on driving a little bit further down i think a couple of hours we done um and now we are i don't even know where we are actually where are we richie no neither have i we'll have to put it up on the screen um we're just we're probably not far away probably a couple of hours down to albania but this place is so nice. It's not somewhere that I would normally choose to come, really. I don't know why, I just never really heard anything about it. Just thought it was gonna be something that we'd just stop through, but it's really, really nice. So we've parked up, Richie's in there cooking. Um, there is quite a few other vans here in the little community there. I think these ones are Dutch um, and that one's French. But the, literally just down there is the sea, which has a park for the children. It has quite a few restaurants, but they are shut at the moment. And there is a water slide that goes into the sea. Um, that's obviously shut because we're out of season, but it's just perfect. It's really, really nice. So. Then we're going to take a little walk up in a bit. I think the supermarket's about 12 minute walk. Then we're going to pop up there and um, get some food and then have a bit of a chill out day on the beach maybe. But yeah, uh, the dog um, needs a good run around because when my parents were here, we didn't really go out as much. So um, she needs a good old walk. But yeah, so far Montenegro has beaten my expectations to be honest. Not only is the sea that way, with a couple of islands, I'll take you down there later and video that. But all the mountains all around us, it's just really pretty, quite green. Popsy's loving it, as you can imagine. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have some breakfast in a bit. I think he's still in bed, <laughs> relaxing. And then, uh, yeah, we'll show you around. And then this is the beach. A couple of islands out there. Looks like one's got a bit of a, some sort of building on and then around here and we're just parked up there behind the restaurant um the restaurants are obviously closed at the moment but yeah so one good thing my mum brought out was a chessboard definitely recommend getting a chessboard in the van because we've had nothing but fun with it since we've been here well since my mum brought it out and uh with a wild type <laughs> And it's been, no, it has been nice, hasn't it? It's yeah, really it's nice been. to, uh, this one's got like drafts and different stuff in it, but instead of- And it makes of, a change from Uno. Yeah, yeah. and the kids yeah. bought their switches and since we've had it, they're playing chess more than they are their switches. So yeah, 
been quite nice. So today we have come to Camping Molina, I think it's called, in Bujarica, but I'll put it in the comments, not quite sure where it is to be honest. But this campsite is absolutely amazing. So we pulled in just over there, we said park up, and we just said that we just needed to do some laundry and have a shower and stuff, but he was like, it's 15 euros a night, which includes all your shower, electric, um, water, emptying toilets, you name it, they've got it, Wi-Fi. <clears throat> so we just said, look, we just wanna, we just wanna go to the laundrette, to be honest. Um, there's far and few between here in Montenegro and Croatia. Um, I think Albania might be the same, not sure. So we've got quite a backlog, um, but it's, I think it's four euros for a small washing machine load. And they've got a tumble dryer. We're still undecided, to be honest, whether we're gonna stay the night or not. We've all had a shower, um, but when we go, I'll let you know how much um, he's charged us if we don't stay the night. But I'll show you around when I go and do, pick my laundry up, what it's like, it's really, really nice. They've literally have got everything here. So here we are, this is the um, washing spot. Showers all along here. Um, this is the washing up area. And then around here, you've got toilets. This is the man's side, I think. Little um, washing up, washing your clothes spot. And then if we come back around this side, really really clean as well um, I think a lot of it is under construction at the moment they seem to be building quite a bit down here um, and the further down in the campsite that you go to um, they've got another sort of area like this one down the bottom so I'll show you in here this is just the little laundry room got three washing machines and a dryer but they have um, all washing lines and stuff all the way along oh and here is the um empty the toilet so you've got drinking water as well a lot of space what are you doing up there well i'm cleaning the solar panels aren't i blue job should be a blue job and at home we used to have blue job pink jobs but since we've been out here Richie's been doing a few pink jobs, so I'm doing a few blue jobs. Cleaning the solar panel off after all that Indian sand, whatever, storm. Hopefully we'll get a bit more charge. There's a restaurant down the road. We thought we'd just see if we can go and get a takeaway because they do takeaways. Um, and the local stray dog that Freddie has fallen in love with has followed us all the way back. So we're going to see if we can have a little doggy sleepover tonight. Let's see. <laughs> Fred is anyway. Fred wants to sleep over. <laughs> Laura doesn't. No. Moody mother. <laughs> We've got enough dogs and rabbits in this band. No one likes a life. moody mother. We're going to have a sleepover <laughs> if he wants to. <laughs> Let's see if he wants it. Do you want to come for a sleepover? Do you want to come for a sleepover? Oh, poor Freddy's crying. He wants to come for a sleepover. Come on. I'm sure we got room for another one. Now, Freddy's not normally an animal person, but he has fallen in love with this dog. Literally in tears because he don't want to leave it. I dread to think what he's going to be like when we get to places like Turkey. Come on, baby, he'll be here in the morning. Oh, you won't. He will, I promise you. He will be here in the morning. He's a cute dog, to be fair. The things we have to do to keep the boys happy. I'm trying to lure a wild dog into the van. Yeah. What dog don't like a sausage? A sausage dog. <laughs> 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 so we've just left the campsite on the hunt for the stray dog but no joy unfortunately so 
the boys were in tears in the back. They were hoping to give it a pack of sausages, so we're a bit gutted about that. It was a lovely dog, so sloppy and docile. I don't think I've ever met such a docile dog. So yeah, they're upset. But it's like I say, by the time, the further we work our way around, there's gonna be more and more stray dogs. And they're gonna be falling in love with all of them. So hopefully they'll soon forget about that one. I'm not too sure what we're doing today. I think we're off to, what's the place Couture. called? Couture. Couture, I believe. I think we're gonna find a little beach park up for today. And then tomorrow, maybe go and check out the old town. One thing we have noticed in Montenegro is the amount of Ukrainian cars. I think a lot of people have fleed and come here. We've seen more here than in Croatia and anywhere else. All nice cars as well normally. Another thing in Montenegro, they love an overtake. That one was quite safe, but normally they don't care. They will do it on the most dangerous event. And I'll bet Albania is going to be even worse still. <laughs> so we made it to the park up and look at the views of it. Absolutely amazing. Turquoise water, mountains. Reminds me of Italy a little bit actually. Really nice and really pretty. In fact, the whole of Montenegro is really pretty, come to think of it. We did plan to park up here for the day, have a bit of a chilled day and go over to Kator tomorrow. Couture is just the other side of that ship over there. Um, but this ain't really a place for chilling out where we're parked now. I'll show you in a sec. So I think what we might do, we might go to Couture today um, and then go and find another park up ready for tomorrow. So beautiful though. So we've just moved around to the other side, found a little car park, three euros an hour, so it's not too bad. At least it saves a half hour walk, feeling a bit lazy today. Kev's just there, you can see him. And yeah, we're gonna go and check out the old town. So how nice is Couture Old Town? Stopped off for a swift half as you do. Really nice. Unfortunately, we didn't spend as much time in Couture Old Town as we would have liked. Luna had an upset stomach from drinking seawater and done the runniest poo right on the cobbled streets in front of loads of people that we had to clean up. As you can imagine, it was very embarrassing, so once we cleaned it up, we made a hasty exit. What we got tonight then, bub? We have got burger and chips. Yummy, yummy. We have that at least one day every week. <laughs> nice, quick and easy. <laughs> and good. Yeah, and it's even better when Richie cooks. Because I'm the better cook. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. This is the view this evening. Very nice park up actually. I think it's probably not that great in um, high season because there's a restaurant up there. Um, and I think they charge you like 10 euros or something. I can imagine it being quite busy. There was quite a few people here earlier. But there is a lot of space. Um, beans, I think there's toilets. 
somewhere over there. Um, so it's got quite a lot of things that you need. But yeah, that view, probably not with that thing in it, but that view over there looks lovely. I think we're going to stay here a couple of nights, have a nice day tomorrow. I think it's meant to be about 23 tomorrow. So yeah. We left the park up this morning. Um, there was a restaurant there and the restaurant owners came this morning. Um, they didn't move us on or anything, but we just felt like it might cause a bit of conflict. <laughs> Um, and it was quite busy yesterday and today is another sunny day so we thought we'd move on. We've just been to a hypermarket six minutes down the road. Quite expensive. We got about five or six bags of not a lot really, waters and stuff um, and it comes to like 79 euros so a lot more expensive than what we've had in other countries. Um, we're now going to go and find another park up. So let's see what this one's like. So we're at another park up today. This one is not actually too far from the campsite we were at. Really nice spot right on the beach. And um, there's also a few campers down here, which makes it nice. A little bit rocky, but you can't have it all. Anyway, we were sitting here. I just got out of the van, had a little look down the track. Who's come to see the boys? You've guessed it, the dog's back. <laughs> This dog don't want us to leave it alone. If we didn't have Lou, I think we'd keep, be keeping this one. Not that I'd swap for Lou because she's a lovely one. You didn't hear me, did you, Lou? <laughs> He's back. Oh, they do love this pup. No. Now we know why he was wet the other day because he come down to the sea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe he sniffed you boys out all the way from back there. You must need a shower. You must be stinky. Oh my god! So when we was in the Montenegro supermarket, we found some pizza bases. So we're going to make some pizzas. Put some tomato puree. Gets the kids cooking. They're going to make their own. We've got some pepperoni to go on them. Some cheese, see how these turn out, and what a place to make pizzas. was a windy night sleep last night didn't get much sleep really and we debated whether to move at about I don't know 11 o'clock or something but the boys were sound though and we'd have to wake them up um, so that we could drive off so we left it in the end so yeah we're glad to leave today we haven't come much further we're just in a lay-by up the road but it's a lot calmer here um, we just pulled over gonna have a quick shower well needed need a shave and all um, and then yeah, I think we're going to fill our water tanks up and find another little spot somewhere. So we left the park up this morning and we kept hearing a load of racket underneath the van. Richie got out to take a look. Turns out the exhaust bracket has fallen off. So he's under there now. <laughs> Try to fix it with Jubilee clips. Hopefully it works. So what's happened is this bracket here, the weld has come off. And then this bit rattled out of there. So I just pushed it in, a few Jubilee clips just to hold it on the back. It should do us for a bit. Leaving the park up last night and being blown around like I don't know what. We have now come inland slightly um, we thought the, there's a massive uh, weather warning um, well yesterday and today for the Adriatic Sea so it's coming on that sea on that coastline um, so we've come more inland we're actually about five minutes away from the border um, but I'll show you the park up it's on Lake Skarda 
and it is beautiful. Over there is Albania. So this lake actually, like obviously one side is Albania and then the other side is Montenegro. So pretty. Boys have got their fishing rod out. I think there is another park up just up there by the watchtower. Um, but we thought, why not? Let's get down here by the water's edge. So pretty. Less windy as well, so we should have a better night's sleep tonight. So as much as we don't really want to leave this spot, um, we're going to have to. We've got no phone signal whatsoever. Um, so we're going to go somewhere else, I think. I think there's a little river park up um, that's a bit more near a town. Um, we don't rely on signal too much, but when you've got nothing, um, the kids get a bit bored when they're falling asleep. They like to watch their programmes. So... Let's go and see what the next one's like. Let's hope it's as good as this one. So we just woke up this morning. Look out the window. And what's out here? Morning. How do you do? Well, we haven't been surrounded by cows since we were in the Lake District. Can't beat nature when you're in the van. It's quite handy, really, because we went to make the teas this morning and ran out of milk. So Laura's literally just gone down and milk one. <laughs> if anyone's wondering what we do about the amount of hair coming from a German Shepherd in the van, this is it. She has this de shedding brush. We do this once every couple of weeks, probably. But look at the amount of hair. It's like another dog. <laughs> it's a. It's quite a good one. It's um the Ferminator, um and we have a um undercoat undercoat um brush as well. So yeah, that makes it a lot easier. And she likes it. <laughs> you like it? Are you happy? <laughs> and this is what we're left with. Like a whole nother dog. Loads of it. So yeah, best to be out here than in the van, that's for sure. So I've realised why I'm struggling to catch any fish in Croatia. I'm doing it all wrong. Look at this. This old boy's got nine rods out to himself. And we just had to come back out. There's a little baby one. They seem to be calling each other from the other side. I think they're supposed to be over there tonight. Look how so cute. Why are cows the best dancers? Because they're great at moving. <laughs> so we're done at this spot now. It's not very nice weather, as you can see. So we are now going to move on. We've got to say goodbye to our neighbours on the way out. See you later, guys. <laughs> so one thing we've noticed driving through Montenegro is we go through and these houses quite big, looks like a more richer area and then the next like a couple of miles down the road you can go through and it's like in poverty. Try and get a clip. Poverty bars. We've had cows and now we've got sheep. So we're just packing up from this spot. Since we've been here, we've been wondering what these big, perfectly dug holes are in the grass. It's not until today, after the rain, 
we now know what it is. And if we had known, we wouldn't have parked here. Check these spiders out. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of that. It don't look that big on camera, but it is big. And they are all coming out of these holes. Hole there, hole there. There's a big one down in that hole. I just saw one in there. This one, you can see the spider in there. Oh, it just moved. I just saw one just moving there. Um, this hole. You can see it. This hole. There is literally holes just full of spiders. <laughs> Time to get packed up and get out of here. That's it for this week, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Join us next week as we spend our first week in Albania. And if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe.